Well, in Europe, investors are looking for any sign that the ECB is poised to cut rates next year when the bank meets on Thursday. The Eurozone inflation came in at only 2.4% last month, and Eurozone member Greece reported a drop of inflation to 2.9%, part of that wider trend. Meanwhile, the Greek economy is expected to grow 2% next year, according to the latest IMF outlook. Kostas Hatsidikakis is the Greek Minister of the Economy. He joins me now live. Minister, thank you. Good to have you with us. Do you hope, and I know you're going to tell me the ECB is independent, I know that, but do you hope that the ECB will cut rates next year? We'll see. It seems that uh, we reached uh, the highest level as regards interest rates. Of course, uh, someone has to be reluctant about all these forecasts because, uh, you know, uh, it is very difficult to predict uh, the developments. But this is the prevailing view that uh, we reached the highest level. Because for somewhere like Greece, which already had such difficulties following the financial crisis, now, and then a pandemic, now to have these higher rates, it's almost uh, killing off the, the new life of the economy just as it was getting going. Things were starting to really look up. As you know, Greece uh, has been uh, what uh, is called uh, a special case uh, in the previous decade. Now, Greece is a special case for a different, uh, totally different reasons. Greece uh, is uh, now a positive surprise for investors and the markets. Uh, we have a significant increase in terms of uh, foreign direct investments. We have uh, an even more significant increase in terms of exports. Um, we have uh, very significant growth uh, rates, uh, three times higher than the average of the Eurozone. And uh, as a result, result of all of this, uh, we have uh, uh, an extremely important right. reduction of unemployment from 17.7% uh, to 9.6% recently. The, is life getting better for ordinary Greeks in the sense that they suffered so much as a result of the Troika policies, whether they were necessary or not is a debate for a different day. But is ordinary life getting better? Are pensions now going up with the rate of inflation? Healthcare being restored? Inflation is a problem, not only in Greece, but uh, in, uh, in Europe uh, as a whole. Uh, we don't pretend that uh, miracles occurred in Greece. However, life is getting better in general. Um, for example, uh, almost 400,000 new jobs have been created. And that's why uh, New Democracy, the governing party, uh, won the recent elections uh, in an impressive manner. And if we look at tourism, which is such a fundamental part of your economy, uh, Greece actually did remarkably well during the crisis in holding on to its market share to a large extent. Are you confident that you've now got the necessary investment for the future within the Greek tourism? Uh, Greece has been affected in a negative way by COVID-19. Uh, that was a case, of course, everywhere. Uh, there is a rebound uh, concerning uh, tourism in, in Greece. Uh, this year uh, seems to be a, a record year for tourism. Uh, so we rely uh, on tourism for the future, as we rely uh, on uh, uh, Greek shipping, but also uh, on other sectors uh, of the economy, like, for example, pharmaceuticals, um, agri-food, renewable, renewables, uh, we want not just to have uh, fiscal prudence, but also to create an economy which is uh, dynamic uh, and extrovert. Minister, I'm grateful for your time. Thank you, sir.